Yo, yo, what's going on? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to talk about why women resent men who are ladies, men who are good with women, you know, guys you would consider players, guys like that, right? Now, I did a video like a long time ago where I was talking about how women, you know, love guys who are players and stuff, and they do, right? So, you know, they love the fact that these guys are attractive, charismatic, confident, and all this other type of stuff. So, you know, they they have that attraction for those guys. But at the end of the day, there's actually sort of like almost like a hate there, too, or some sort of resentment uh, when it comes to um, dealing with these guys. Right. And so the reason why I'm talking about this is because when you get good at attracting women, and you're out here dating multiple women, you're making things happen, right? What you're going to realize in certain situations is you're going to come across women who low key are going to feel some type of way about the fact that you are that guy, right? And what happens is, is that you're going to be in these situations where you're dealing with women And you're going to feel this energy of them sort of like giving you that look or giving little slick remarks or, you know, feeling some type of way about the fact that, you know, you have all these other women and all this other stuff. Right. And see, one of the biggest things or the biggest reasons why women will have resentment and feel some type of way is because even though they are attracted to you. They know that other women are attracted to you and they know that you're most likely seeing other women. And so because you're seeing other women, they will, you know, feel some type of way about that. So you have guys out there who deal with a lot of women, but they're manipulative. Right. And those guys, you know, that makes sense for a woman to sort of like feel that sort of uh negative energy towards them because they're like oh this guy he lied to me he played me he pretended to be something he's not and all that other good stuff right now that makes sense for a woman to feel some type of way about that guy because he's you know manipulating her and he's lying and he's being that type of dude right but on the other hand you have guys who are honest who let women know what the deal is who's not misleading women and You know, the women know what's up, but they still feel some type of way. And now the reason that they, you know, feel some type of way is because they know that the attention that they're getting from him is also going to be attention that other women are going to be getting. So the woman feels she, she knows that she's not the only one. And so because she knows she's not the only one, that's the part that makes her feel some type of way. And so even if you're on the up and up and even if you're honest about this and even if, you know, she knows what's going on low key, she still is going to feel some type of way. Right. And that energy is going to come out when you're dealing with these women. Right. See, I've been in situations where I've been on like first dates with chicks and, you know, they, they, they know that, you know, I'm the type of guy that, you know, gets women and other women want to fuck with me or whatever. And because these women would be on these dates with me and they're, they're interested in me and they're attracted to me, you know, they, they would, they would be flirting, would be doing this back and forth. But I would notice that there's, there's always this little thing where they would say some sort of like slick remark you know, to, to address the fact that I'm that guy. So they'll be like, Oh, you know, Oh, I bet you say this to all the ladies and Oh, I'm sure you got like a million girls that you're dealing with. And, and, and it's like, they're saying it in a way where they're half joking, but they're, you know, like kind of upset. <laughs> you understand? So they're kind of upset the, at the fact that they're like, damn, I'm attracted to this guy. But I don't like the fact that I know he's fucking with other women and that if I start to deal with him and start to like like him and start to be attracted to him, then, you know, I'm going to feel some type of way later on down the line. Right. 
So you're going to have that sort of energy or you'll have the energy where women will try to low key shame you for being how you are. Right. So, you know, it'll be on some. Oh, why do you got to deal with all these women? You know, is there some type of void you're trying to fill or, oh, you want to deal with all these women because, you know, you just haven't found the right one or you're a sex addict or what? It's it's a bunch of million other things. And this can happen in any type of like situation you're in when you're just interacting with women. You could be at a party having a conversation with a woman. You could be, you know, online in, in a chat room or, you know, writing comments somewhere and, and, and the woman will respond to you that way. You can be, you know, like uh, at the club, at the bar, on on an online dating site or whatever. You're when you're interacting with these women and they know that you're that guy and they see that you're that guy, right? They're attracted to you because you know you're that attractive dude. But at the same time, there's some of that like you know hater energy because she knows that. Other women are going to be attracted to you and that you're most likely going to interact with other women and she's not going to be the only one. So even if you, you know, end up with this woman and you, you know, y'all are together, you care about her and everything like that. You love her and all that. It doesn't matter. She's still going to feel some type of way. You understand? She's still going to feel some type of way. And that's the thing that I want you guys just to understand that, you know, as you know, when you get good at attracting women, when you become this guy who can get, you know, different types of women and this is what you want to do, right? You're going to come across women who are going to have that type of energy towards you. You understand? And there's really nothing you can do about it. See, as long as when you're dealing with these women, they don't, uh, you know, come off as disrespectful you understand what i'm saying then it's cool and and what i mean by like you know disrespectful for example like let's say you're you're dealing with a chick or whatever and you know you're trying to hook up with her and you 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 going over her crib let's say you smashed her a few times or whatever and then you come over the crib and she's like oh you know why we gotta have sex right now i bet you had sex with like you know 30 girls this week why don't you go over there and fuck those bitches you see what I'm saying? Like that's that's disrespectful. But see, it, it's clouded in that sort of hate and resentment because you know she knows that you got all these other women and she feels some type of way about it, even though she's still attracted to you. You see what I mean? But that right there is is, is disrespect. You see what I'm saying? Now that type of chick, you need to charge your ass to the game. Now that is disrespect, but you know. The regular type of shit, whereas a chick will say like, you know, you be on a date with a chick and she might be like, oh, I bet you got, you know, a lot of women that like you or whatever. That's that's fine. You understand if she says that that's cool, you know, and it's getting into that territory of her acknowledging or seeing that you're that guy. But in the other example where I was talking about that type of shit is disrespect. But just understand that there's that underlying vibe you're going to feel in these interactions with women when you're that dude you see what i'm saying it's going to happen and the funny part about it is that if you're not that type of guy let's say you're the type of guy you know you just like you're you're you know you you want one woman and all that other stuff and you're just gonna you know be this like um super monogamous guy who's gonna court this one woman and pay attention to her and do all this other stuff you know she'll like that at first but usually what happens is is because you're not the other guy she's not as attracted to you even though she likes the fact that you're giving her attention she's not as attracted to you so at some point even if y'all get together and y'all be together she'll get bored and she'll you know uh basically like start acting funny style in a relationship because you know you're you got that sort of beta male energy and all that other crazy stuff so it's you know it's it's crazy because it's either you're the player ladies man guy who women love but also hate or you're going to be <laughs> the, the, you know, beta male guy that women love because you make them feel secure, but then also hate because you're the boring beta male guy. You understand? So, you know, pick your poison, but just understand that this is, this is usually how this type of stuff goes, but I just want to prepare you guys so that when, you know, you start to go out there, do your thing, you're getting good at getting shit popping with women. 
understand that that sort of underlying resentment is going to be there. It just is what it is. All right. So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game.